everyone and welcome back and this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Aries for the week of April 14th and I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting noticed and for all the thumbs up on the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments thank you very much for doing that Right. And your first card out is the tower. So finishing up with something. It's come to making sudden changes in your life. Things are starting to change around you. And the page of pentacles. So there's offers, new opportunities. Now you're asking yourself the great question of, well, what do I do? <laughs> but there's definitely opportunities knocking here. So you're trying to make wise decisions. You're not trying to just step into something. You know, you're placing value on what you already have before you um, make new investments. Well, wow, surprise. Somebody's making you an offer this week. This could be in the love category for some of you. It's a thrill. It's good news. You know, but it's up to you whether you're going to accept it or not. It's going to be flattering. And like I said, unexpected. Maybe this is a friend that you've had for quite some time and you've always thought of them as just that. And you know, they finally tell you how they really feel. Sorry, I'm <laughs> trying to figure out how to say it correctly for you. Yeah. But it looks like it means that you need to walk away from something. Uh, this could be uh, a job, a relationship for many of you. Something that's not quite fulfilled you. You know, maybe you put a lot of time and effort and energy into this. And you can see that, you know, it's not going to go any farther or any better than what you already have. And you're now becoming weary of putting so much time and effort into this that it's worn you down. So you're thinking of literally walking away from it. You know, this could be um, an investment that you've put into working on a house for a very long time and, and, you know, always trying to make it look better. And you're realizing that the more money you put in, that, you know, it's still, you're still not going to get your investments back out. So it's that sort of thing. But whatever it is, you're definitely going to leave it behind you. You're going to actually let it go. Maybe you've been thinking about doing this for quite some time and now you're, you know, found enough footing and, and realize that it's time for you to go in a different direction. And the judgment. So yeah, you're, it's sort of like a rebirth for yourself. Definitely starting over here for many of you. Like a, a fresh start, a new beginning. And like I said, this can be in relationships, this can be in um, jobs, just new neighborhoods. You know, it doesn't always have to be relationships in that way. You become, uh, have a relationship with, you know, the neighborhood that you live in for many years. And you're just, just tired. You're definitely seriously thinking of, you know, moving forward on something, you know, giving up uh, people, places and things and, and deciding to go in a different direction. And this is the week that you're going to make a commitment to yourself to let people, places and things go that no longer suit you. Maybe you've been, you know, hanging around with the same people for a long time because you felt comfortable there and now you've decided that, you know what, I, I want to change many areas of my life and I need to let that part of my past go. So you're making a lot of judgment calls here. 
for yourself this week. And the King of Cups. Very determined. You know. You're motivated to resolving problems in your life this week. You've got things that you want to solve. You know, and that's in many areas, different um, relationships around you that maybe have not quite, you know, made you happy lately. So you're taking control of that situation. So you're finding balance. You're taking the leadership role in fixing what needs to be fixed to make your life more satisfying. But for many of us, it looks like you're going to be moving. Most definitely. You know, you're making a transformation here of yourself, your life, where you live, and in some cases, even your jobs. Like you just want to be more fulfilled in life and you want happier, more calmer shores for yourself. So you're literally packing your bags and baggage and moving to a different area. Now, like I said, this could be for jobs, this could be for love. But it will make you happy. This move will also give you a leg up in life. Like more money if it's a job that you're moving to. You know, things will just go easier for you. So you're just going to do it. And the three of rods. Yeah, look at you looking out for... You know, out to see at all the prospects that's out there for yourself. And you're really thinking about taking these opportunities and bringing them to life. You know, whether it's moving or getting into a new relationship or leaving something behind a relationship or a job that didn't longer fulfill you anymore. And you, you could see it coming for quite a, you know, quite some time. You know, the structure wasn't sound. You were okay, but not, you know, happy. So you've been ready for this to take footing for a long time for yourself. This, you know, you've looked at all different areas of it. You've started already the process of tidying things up around you, such as getting your relationships in order, you know, family relationships, that sort of thing. And you're wanting to move, but you haven't really told them. You just have it in your background, in your mind. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're making judgments based on yourself this week. You're, you know, it's not that you're not thinking of others. You're just making it more your own going forward. And you're using your skills and your verbal skills to make that point very clear to others around you that this decision you're making this week is for you and the swords the ace of swords so yeah you're definitely having a breakthrough moment like you're having more clear thoughts for yourself on what it is that you want and where you want to go that sort of thing and you're definitely moving here there's no way around that. You know, you've been thinking about doing this for a long time and now you've, you know, picked what road you want to go down and that's where you're off to. And especially, you know, with all the cards that's showing here of movements and looking out for new beginnings and firm foundations. And you've got the moon card there. So, you know, there, this is going to happen quite suddenly. Maybe not to you, but to others around you looking at it. It's going to be quite surprising. But you've lost sleep over this. You've thought about this, you know, for quite some time. And, you know, you cut a lot of things out of your life to make sure that you're very clear on what your thinking is. You know, you're not overeating or drinking or, you know, over... Um, stimulating your body you're going natural here so that you can make sound decisions for yourself and the nine of rods yeah you've definitely been through it 
you know, different things in your life have tested you many times and you realizing that you have the courage to move forward and do whatever it is that you put your heart and soul into. And this is the week that you're standing that ground. And the Seven of Cups, look at that. Look at all the lofty opportunities and dreams. But you also realize that you have to make a choice and then live with it. And that's where you're, you know, really having a difficult time this week. But you'll make the right one on the right time for you. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or card. But like I said, many of you, you're actually thinking of moving away from an area that maybe perhaps that you've either grown up in or lived for a long time, but you're realizing it, you just don't seem to fit anymore. You don't feel like you do. So you're definitely looking into that aspect. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes there you are and on that note i will say goodbye for now don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you again next week bye for now